right, we're going to take a look at a couple more examples of solving systems of equations using elimination. Um, now, in these particular problems, we're not going to have anything that eliminates as it's set up. We're going to have to multiply our equations by something in order to get either x or y to eliminate. So in my first problem here, I have two equations, and I'm looking at my x values, and I can see that I have 5 and 10, and I look at my y values, and I have 1 and negative 7. Now, it doesn't matter whether I try to eliminate x or I try to eliminate y. I can use either, either variable I can focus on um, to try to eliminate. When I look at this, because I already have a positive y and a negative 7y, if I multiply the top equation, if I multiply everything by positive 7, then I'll have a positive 7y and a negative 7y that would eliminate. So I'm going to focus on multiplying everything in this top equation by positive 7. So I'm going to write my new equation over here next to that. So 7 times 5x is 35x. Then I would have plus 7y, and that would equal 63. So I took each value, and I simply multiplied everything by 7. Now my second equation, I'm just going to rewrite it, but I want to write it underneath it so everything lines up. So I have 10x minus 7y equals negative 18. I didn't change anything in that second equation. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add these two together. And when I do that, let's see, 35x plus 10x is going to give me 45x. Positive 7y and negative 7y make 0, so they cancel out. And that equals, well, 63 minus 18 is going to give me 45. So now I'm going to solve for x by dividing both sides by 45, and I find that x equals 1. Perfect. So I have the first half of my problem correct. Now I'm going to take this x equals 1, and I'm going to plug it back into one of my equations. So I'm going to use the top equation, this 5x plus y equals 9. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute this x value here into this equation there so I can figure out what y is. So I have 5 times 1 plus y equals 9. Well, 5 times 1 is 5 plus y equals 9. So to get y by itself, I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides. So y equals 4. So now I can write this x and y um, together as an ordered pair, so my ordered pair would be 1, 4. All right, great. Let's take a look at another example where we have a similar situation where we have to multiply everything by a number. So I'm going to scroll down here. So here's our next problem. So when I look at this, I'm going to see where my x's are lined up, my y's are lined up, my equal signs are lined up, and my constants are lined up, but I don't have anything that will eliminate as it's written. So when I look at this here, my x values, I have a negative 3x and a negative 9x. And then if I look at my y's, I have a 7y and a 5y. Well, I can take a negative 3, and I can turn that into a positive 9, so that I'll have a positive 9 and a negative 9, and those x values would eliminate. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to multiply everything in this top equation by negative 3. And I'm going to write that over here to the right. So negative 3 times negative 3x is going to be a positive 9x. Negative 3 times 7y is going to be a negative 21y. And then I'm going to have negative 16 times negative 3. And let's see, that's going to give me a positive 48. So again, my second equation, I'm not going to do anything different to that. I'm just going to simply rewrite it. So we have negative 9x, we have plus 5y equals 16. So now I'm going to simply add these two together. So when I add them together, 9x and negative 9x, they cancel out. They're gone. So I have negative 21y, and I have a positive 5y. And that's going to give me a negative 16y. If I have 48 plus 16, that's going to give me, what, um, 64? Then I'm going to divide both sides by negative 16. 
so that I can get y by itself, and y is going to equal negative 4. All right, so now that I have this y value, I have to pick one of my equations that I'm gonna substitute this in for. It doesn't matter which equation I pick, any of them will work. Um, I'll, use, um, I'll use the bottom equation this time. So I have a negative 9x plus 5y equals 16. And I'm gonna take this y value here, this negative four, and I'm gonna substitute it in right there. So negative 9x plus 5 times negative 4 equals 16. All right, so negative 9x, 5, and negative 4 is going to give me negative 20, so minus 20 equals 16. All right, again, the goal is to get x by itself, so I'm going to add 20 to both sides. That will leave me with negative 9x. That cancels out, and I'm left with equals 36. And my last step is to divide by negative 9, and x equals negative 4. So then my ordered pair is going to be negative 4, negative 4.